Hi guys, this is Rendon with Let's Do Crypto, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly create a paper wallet for storing Dash, the cryptocurrency Dash. Um, people ask me a lot, you know, what's the best way to store cryptocurrency if I don't want to store it on an exchange that might go under or might put restraints on how quickly I can withdraw the money. A good alternative is to store it on a paper wallet, and it's something like this. So this is a Dash paper wallet. It, this is actually three separate um, addresses. So it's about the size of a check. You can cut it out or just keep it on a paper like this. But it has the um, private key over here and the public key uh, right here. And so this is the, the address you would send funds to. And then when you want to spend, you just have to have this long password. You can scan these with your phone if you have a phone um, that can import uh, private keys like a Dash wallet. Or you can just type it in directly to the to um, the software you're using to send Dash to or from. Um, but in any event, it's a good way to store um, Dash. So we're just going to search Dash Paper Wallet, and then click on uh, this link. It's paper.dash.org is what I like to use. This is based off of open source software that can be found on GitHub. So all the code is transparent and open. You can if you're understand the code you can read through it or hire someone to read through it and verify and make sure that it's real so all these dots we were creating is creating a bunch of random data points to generate this private key so it's a it's a fairly random um, key and so this secret private key over here um, was used to generate this public key so this is a single address if you want to get the paper like I have here you click on this paper wallet and it gives you the three so they've updated the design a little bit, but this is the uh, these are the wallets. So you just click print here. Uh, oops, you click print, and then you can just print. Uh, you can print to PDF and store it as a digital file on your computer. Although I wouldn't recommend that. I recommend always when you do paper wallets, always print out a paper version, maybe two. Put one like in a fireproof safe and give one to someone you trust and have them keep that in a safe at their house, like a family member, if you really trust someone. If not, you could store a PDF version on a jump drive, maybe like a USB drive, um, and uh, but then always have a paper version as well. Uh, paper wallets are very, very secure, though. I've used this site and these methods for storing Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dash, dozens, literally dozens of different cryptocurrencies over the past several years. I've never had any trouble with paper wallets. Um, you do want to make sure that you see this green lock in the corner. Make sure that you're connected via HTTPS, like a secure connection. Um, and it's it's good if you can review and audit the code. Um, maybe try like a small amount first and make sure that you're, you're familiar with how to send money to a paper wallet and how to redeem money from a paper wallet. Um, but yeah, if you're just wondering how to do it, this is it. There's lots of other good tools here too. Like if you have a private key already, like this one, you can copy it like control C, go to wallet details and paste it. And it'll tell you all the information about this address. It'll tell you the public keys associated with it, um, the different formats that the private key can be viewed in. Uh, so yeah, this is this is a great site. And there's sites like this, um, this exact same format based off of the same code for uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, um, lot, every just about every coin that's related to the Bitcoin code. And then Ethereum and some of these other ones have their a similar tool, but it's based off of different code. And so if you're interested in making paper wallets for other cryptocurrencies, um, check out my other videos where I show that. Hopefully you found this informative. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you have. And we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.